This is APOD, a new women's housing unit at the Johnny e. Polk Correctional Facility dedicated to getting residents hooked on hope, something that's been missing in their lives. The number one thing that I'm looking for when it comes to participants in this program is a genuine desire to change their lives. I burned all my bridges and I didn't have anybody to believe in me anymore. Since 2008, 33-year-old Heather Brown has been in and out of jail on charges of petty theft, trespassing, and burglary, all tied to opioid dependency. I was rear-ended by a semi, and I was uh, written a prescription for hydrocodone, and I was a school teacher at the time. As these photos in the APOD unit make clear, there are innocent lives at stake in the residents' road to recovery. Judge Jerry Collins has seen many drug-dependent defendants like Heather Brown, the mother of three young daughters, commit crimes to feed their dependency, ignoring their own kids. They will forgo food, they'll forgo shelter, and for this, and their children are just, it's sad that they're collateral, they're just collateral. My girls beg for my attention, and sometimes I haven't been there to give it to them. And my 16-year-old has graduated high school, and she knows everything that she doesn't want to be because of what she's seen me do. Inside APOD, facilitators Gretchen and Lucy are helping residents understand the negative effects of dependency, how neglected children are more likely to become users too. Their addiction um, touches all family members. We're asking them to basically draw a generational line in the sand and just say no more. But how? That's the tough part, starting with residents having to confront deep-seated issues. When they do, Dr. Kerr calls them pinnacle moments. They themselves were going deeper and deeper and deeper. And we got to this place where these ladies were sharing things that were just heartbreaking. I'm just so grateful to be a part of this because it has changed who I am and allowed me to find my true identity again. We're passionate about seeing them succeed, passionate about seeing them empowered to become who they already are, peeling back the onion, right? Peeling back the layers to get back to who they really are. In another indication of how well residents are taking to the program. All the years I've been doing this, I never had a request to extend a period of incarceration, which is, is good. In this hearing, Heather went before her judge with an extraordinary request to have her sentence increased by three weeks in order to complete the APOD program. That was the first time in my judicial career, or even as a prior prosecutor, that I've ever had anyone come to court and say, I want more jail time. I, I need to stay in here longer. But that's just a testament of what's going on there. My name's Heather, and a few things that I'm grateful for is good food, a nice bed, my freedom. And now, at the end of the three weeks that she asked to have added to her sentence, Heather Brown is graduating. I had my freedom, but I was a slave to my addiction. This graduation speech is required of all women in the program. This has been a life-changing event for me, and I'm really grateful. Thank you. To go to jail and to get this kind of help is a godsend because I was lost and I'm found.